Welcome to a moment of intriguing introspection beyond the realms of fear, hesitancy, and doubt. A deep dive into the questions of the ages shared with the courage that may challenge perception, yet teases open the expansive depth of conscious awareness. This is a rare and unique moment in our collective history. And beyond all sense of dogma, I am Master Lady Kira Ra, promising to call forward the essence of all that you are. Join me as I offer the latest self-ascension revelations with supportive wisdom. And why not remember that peace, love, and joy are your birthright. So this is the moment to bring your hand to your heart and to give yourself the gift of relaxing into a deep breath with a wondrous exhale. I look forward to joining you right now in another episode of Expanding Consciousness. Well, hey, everyone, and welcome, welcome to another extraordinary podcast episode of Expanding Consciousness. I am, as you are, Master Lady Kira Ra, the unified field of Sri Ramka Kira Ra, honored to share this moment with you. And please forgive me if you hear a tickle in my voice. I've been working on that and I do apologize for it and going to do my best to mitigate that as we come together because tonight is just such an extraordinary moment. I, I'm just really excited about this this topic, this expansion, this moment that we have collectively arrived into. And as always, I want to timestamp in that we are sitting here in September 2024 in this expansive potentiality that identifies time in that form. And in this September moment, we are breathing in the precipice of this extraordinary full moon. We are before this incredible eclipse, this eclipse full moon, as the energy of the knowing of last week's episode, which I hope you listened to on conscious unification, so that in the knowing of conscious unification, we arrive into the presence of one body under our command, many lives, one body, many lives. That is the gift. It is the gift of arriving into the depth of the dissolution that calls forward the embodiment of your eternal nature. And I want you to really breathe that in because welcome, 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 right? I'm going to stop right there and let you catch your breath and kind of really okay, where have I arrived and who's this woman and why should I be listening? Well, those are really good questions and I really invite them. You know, I started this adventure the day I was born, as did all of you. Let us not forget that through the sacred sequence of incarnation and just the the quick two second on that. And, and if you don't know about it, go back into this experience, go into expanding consciousness and learn about the sacred sequence of incarnation, or better yet, take my home study program over at shriankira.com. The sacred sequence of incarnation, imagine you're a comet, right? So relax your comet. And you're this comet streaming through space. And as you're streaming through space, like a comet, this energy of propulsion, this energy of love, this energy of consciousness itself, this eternal propulsion, this expansion, this limitless being of the totality of the all that you are. And throws out, I like to call this this line, you throw out what many call different names, this beautiful, beautiful field of crystal light, this emanation, this laser experience. Think, think of it that way. It was exactly what happened during my first deep near-death experience when I had that vision that one day I will get animated for all of you, I promise. But as we, as we bring out all of those streams of light, as we all spin with that, I want you to breathe in and feel that that comet suddenly stops. And instead of streaming, it becomes a pillar, a pillar that that beautiful Shiva Linga pillar, right? That eternal Vishnu Brahma Shiva, that, that beautiful, incredible 
never up, never down. There is limitless itself. You cannot find it. The moment that you peek out as the pillar of radiant light that you are, feel that. Oh, relax your breath into that, right? I won't tell you to close your eyes. I know some of you might be driving out there listening to me through AM FM 247 or any of the AM and FM stations that carry this podcast. Thank you. Thank you for expanding consciousness. So rather than closing your eyes, if it's not safe to do so, just simply smile. Whatever you're gazing at right now, smile. Become aware of the awareness within you. That is that smile. That is you coming out of that pillar of the eternal nature of self. That is the moment where the sacred sequence of incarnation through the ascended numerological system of the totality of the 13 and the essence of the eternal void, that's when these collide. And that collision is coming into formed existence in this field of potentiality right now with this full moon lunar eclipse that will come forward on September 17, 2024 and reach a peak moment of acceleration on Friday, September 20th, when the time out of time window, 2021, 22, holds an in-breath, the Ave, the hail, hail, hail to the divine for that huge exhale of dissolution that we all rise with on the morning of the 23rd. And that's why the embodiment of your eternal nature is calling you right now. Whenever you're catching this podcast, whether it's live with the day that it airs, whether it's in whatever field of potentiality, in whatever form that it is finding you through, I bow before you being here to know that this body of form in this specific realm of potentiality that we collectively agree to look look this way, learn this way, all of it, that in this moment, this one body has given you the gift of the capacity, really breathe that in, the capacity to embody your eternal nature, to reverse age, to restore, to live a life. If you start young enough, 120 is just easy. Your conscious awareness carries the seeds of 300. How you unify the two takes more than a single moment when you're in a resistive field. But to have arrived at the moment where what I'm sharing is a yes instead of a huh. And if it's a huh, let it become a oh and tickle you into a greater sense of okay. It's like picking up a book for the first time that you absolutely want to read, that you've heard other people talking about it and you read it and go, I'm not sure I get it. But it's sitting the book down and then looking inside yourself with the smile and the relaxing of the self-judgment that goes, wait a minute, what in me invited this to be? And seeing the expansiveness of that in the celebratory return of the remembrance that this body of form is ours to command. And that it takes the strength and the absolute embodiment of your divine mastery presence with conscious awareness, living as the witness, ninth dimension, witnessing, seventh dimension, the witnesser, fifth dimension, of the witness, third dimension. Yeah, I just said that. So bring your hands to your heart and let me unpack that for you. And, you know, I intentionally covered up all my tattoos tonight. If you, you can kind of look through those butterflies and see them because I, I usually, I, I have so many people ask me about them and what they are, you know, most people don't realize that I did not, I only had, I had one tattoo. I got my first tattoo when I was 41 and it was a beautiful stylized ohm that has been refreshed and is still on my left ankle. And then after an incredible 
incredible journey um, with a beautiful person. And I saw the pillar of golden light come in through my navel. And I write about this in Sacred Union, The Journey Home, was when I got my second tattoo. And I believe I was 42. But all the rest of the tattoos you see on me began at after I turned 60. And they all came in over a three-year period. And they came in with the rapid escalation of this physical body coming into another new life. The visual I've had of my body, and, and I still have one more very large tattoo that needs to go on my right leg, but the visual of my body began at a time when the Master Lady Kira Ra was invited to step forward. And that in this moment now, what I know and those of you that have had the honor and, and given me the honor of, of sharing this 22 year journey going into my 23rd year now with me is that what I knew is that I resisted saying yes to Master Lady Kira Ra because of all the potentialities that I saw opening up. Because in order to be Master Lady Kira Ra, to embody mastery presence in the full cognizance of this body of form, means that I would have had, I had to really release any remaining self judgment so that I could stand beyond all fields of judgment and be the integrous living energy of love them. They know not what they do in the full gift. And let's not misunderstand that, right? Stay with me in the full gift of the knowing that you are birthing another life inside this one body. How many lives have you had within your body? And are they complete or are they bleeding into the life that's trying to emerge? You are emerging with every breath. You are already further. I know I'm a broken record, but I'll say it forever. With every breath right now, whenever the you is catching this experience of us communicating and the way that it's unfolding in your conscious awareness, of which I am humbled to be a part of. And however you are receiving that, you right now, conscious of this breath, have taken your consciousness further than you have ever gone before. It's not about the fame. It's not about the money. It's about the recognition that if we can come together and, and, and keep rebirthing these bodies, keep rejuvenating these bodies, that means that your consciousness, that Shiva Linga pillar, that sacred sequence of incarnation has arrived at a moment of witnessing, thereby being able to command and work response abilities that come forward through a depth of self-awareness that can only carry the transcendent smile of all. The full command of, of bringing back in that stream, that heart stream, right? Not having to throw that out and keep spinning around the wheel of the five medicines. Rather, stepping forward as the integrated whole unified field not having to do anything except be in that experience commanding the, the the circle rather than being solely the witness of it awareness is the beginning it is the way we keep self ascending what is self ascension it is the basically the culmination of the perennial philosophies. It's what the ancient rishis and sages were all over in the first and second century BC. It's where Einstein went. It was Huxley was writing about. It's the perennial philosophies. At the end of the day, why am I here? Why is any of us here? To remember who we are while we are still carrying this body of form. Breathe that in because I really want you to, to experience that as part of this one body, many lives. One body, many lives. To embody your eternal nature with conscious awareness is the perennial philosophies. Saying, 
what what Jesus said, what every great master said, right? It, it's all about that. I am as you are. It's just simply up to you when you will reclaim that eternal nature with conscious awareness and the ability, the availability, the support, the open doors have never been greater than they are in this very moment. I'm going to stop right there because I want you to really feel that. I mean, I hope you're feeling my smile on that. You, you right now in this very moment, bring your hands to your heart really relax the mind and take that in right now you have gone further in conscious awareness than you have ever gone and it all begins with awareness to celebrate your awareness to be aware to be in the smile and be aware of that which you are aware of is an incredible moment remember that you know i'm putting up my veil right your level of consciousness is your veil Do you want to lift your consciousness? Lift your veil. Lifting the veil is the smile that invites you to gaze at the self with love and compassion rather than judgment and tyranny. To honor and know who you are and to not be afraid of that. To step into that with the confidence that is aware that this body has been doing exactly what you have been asking it to do. And none of us are exempt. That's why we're here. Humanity's 12 o'clock hour, our greatest awareness, where it all begins, because the cycle of ascension, awareness, experience, choice. So our 12 o'clock hour, our greatest awareness is the body of form. And first we come in and we cycle going body, 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 and we go through all those things. And it keeps taking us around and around and around and then we come back into the center at some point and we become the witness of it all and we're cycling around but it's more refined and the languaging is very pretty but it also has its own self limitation because it's still that aspect of that sacred sequence of incarnation that has been extended out and is spinning excuse me And as it spins, and as it spins, and as it spins, there comes a moment where after many lifetimes of experiences, you spin back into the center with the glorious awareness that you can look forward, you can look out, you are the commander, you are the one. And as you do that, as you move forward in that gloriousness, You remember that you don't have to do anything other than be and show up. One body, many lives. But have you really let each life be complete? Or are you dragging those lives around with you? You know, I want to give you a challenge. I really do. Go back and binge watch, binge listen, whatever. They're only, you know, short 25-minute episodes. But I want you to go back and watch the past episodes, starting with the two episodes on plant medicines. It was a two-part journey. Try to listen to those two together because they really are good together. Then listen to Sacred Union Partnership, Commanding Consciousness, and last week, the one right before this episode, Conscious Unification. And then I challenge you to listen to this episode, One Body, Many Lives, again. The yoga of self-ascension is the culmination of the perennial philosophies. It is the embodying of your eternal nature to reverse age, to restore everything, to honestly heal. And in order to do that, you, you are really being propelled. And this is why you're on the journey. And this is why the five medicines exist. You're propelled through the ever refining cycle of awareness, experience, and choice. The question is, when you walk into conscious awareness, are you then willing to expand into the experience? Because in the experience, you will meet it all. Every mirror of yourself, everything you ever thought was healed and maybe lied to yourself about, everything, it will all come up. 
And it's not about it coming up. It's not about the judgment of, I thought I went through this. I don't have to do this. Why this? Why that? It's not about that at all. It's about you being able to look at it and going, oh my God, thank God I finally am here. I see it. I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. I am ready to heal through it. I am ready to restore through it. I get that I have this one body that has been responding physically, our 12 o'clock hour, the, the ultimate experience, right? has been responding exactly to the commands you have been giving to it. Question is, are you willing to accept that? Are you willing to look at your body right now and say, oh, this is what I've been telling my body I want. And are you willing to say yes to the greatest life you've ever had? Are you willing to watch yourself reverse age? Are you willing to watch yourself restore? Are you willing to watch yourself normalize? Because it's it's not just about reverse aging of of your physical body. It's about the reverse aging of your mind, your emotions, your spirituality. You can be 20 and need to reverse age. And you can be 100 and have the most youthful, greatest experience ever. None of the linear matters. That's why we are in the moment of calling in creation itself. One body, many lives. If you have ever dreamt it, it is because you have already achieved it. The potentialities are so close right now. If it's coming in before you, everything, everyone are aspects of something in front of you that's ready to really be taken to a mastery level, which means you've got to look at yourself and smile and let go of anything other than celebration. So how does that feel to hear? Notice that too, because your one body is saying, hey, right now, starting in September 2024, there's going to be a moment where we're bridging two different worlds. And as one culminates, the other begins, and we're in that void dissolving together right now. What is emerging in your life? Because the reason... I did these two tattoos was for you. I am emergence itself. With every breath, I am consciously aware of that. I am as you are. I am emergence, as are you. Notice your breath. Notice your smile. Notice your beautiful body. And remember, one body, many lives, if you choose and until you choose. There are many who have given up, and that is their choice. And there are many who choose to say, a positive vision of our future is right now, and it's in your hands. One body, many lives. Go binge watch some expanding consciousness. Tell your friends. Give me some comments. And go visit shriandkira.com. Check out the evolving all new experience of the yoga of self-ascension. I love you with all my heart. And we have an extraordinary moment ahead of us. Stay connected. Go subscribe to my email, uh, e-card. And there's a free gift waiting for you as well at shriandkira.com. I love you. Many blessings. And thank you for the gift of having this moment with you. Together, we are expanding consciousness. Namaste. Thank you for joining me on Expanding Consciousness. Learn more about the Yoga of Self Ascension at shriandkira.com and make sure you're subscribed to YouTube Official Shri and Kira. Remember, you are the gift. I love you and look forward to being with you again. Namaste. Namaste.